that you are having a blessed day. Come on, somebody, give him praise, give him honor. I'm going to see, um, I don't see a whole lot of people on here. Of course, I'm just starting. Well, good afternoon. Well, almost still morning, 1152. I pray that you are been, oh my God, I pray that you're having a blessed day, blessed life. I got so much information. Let me tell y'all something. Let me go ahead because I think people don't understand the apostolic anointing. Um, it's a very heavy anointing, meaning that we are required to sit at the feet of God. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. We are required to sit at the feet of God. We don't, I, I'm like, I can't even explain to y'all. I barely get sleep, but yet I don't be tired. So I know that's the Holy Ghost. Come on, someone, hallelujah. Meaning that God, I need to talk to you. I need you to talk to my people. I need you to position yourself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So this is what he's been talking to me for about two days. He said, Deanna, I need you all to listen to me because this is a very serious one. All of them are serious. He said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. He said, they're not discerning the times. I've been telling y'all for seven, eight years, martial law coming, new world art, order is coming. So let me get to what God says. For 2021, he said it will be worse. They're brewing something worse than COVID. I told you COVID was the first step in their hit to say, hey, we're here. We're going to take over the world. We're going to put y'all in FEMA camps. Slavery is coming. You're not going to own land. Y'all think it's a game, huh? If I I want y'all those those that don't believe, just humor me. Humor yourself. Look up martial law, and martial law is spelled M A R T I A L W. I'm sorry, L A Y L A W. When martial law goes in effect, you are stripped of every right you ever had. Do you understand what I'm saying? Meaning that you're not even gonna own your own houses. They're gonna let you stay there up on. The idea that you are obedient to all the laws, all the new world order laws. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. God say, tell them for 2021, they're going to have to disconnect from the world in order to hear my voice. He said the, oh, the blessing will be in the obedience. He said they're going to have to obey like never before, Deanna. you got to do what I say when I say it. You guys might not believe me. This is the way I live my life. Let me, let me tell y'all something. Because I, I I know I told y'all they wouldn't let me open up. But let me tell you what happened two weeks prior to that. And my sister is my vouch. Because I called her about 8 o'clock that morning. I had a dream. God said, hold thy hand. I said, what are you saying? He said, hold, your, hold thy hand from the cafe. I said, huh? And I didn't understand. Right then and there, I knew I won't go open up. I said, something, 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 something shifted, something wrong. Or they got something planned or they planning something because God ain't going to let you go into something that somebody try to hurt you or plan something or whatever. He'll shift that thing to save you. Come on, somebody write that in the comments. He'll shift something to save you. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. But the word for 2021 is, and I, I know it's a hard word and I know y'all don't like it. He said, Deanna, it's going to get worse. So they're going to have to connect to me like never before. So in other words, you're going to have to seek God in 2021 more than you seek er the earth or another human being. Let me clarify that again. If you playing church, if you so into this world, oh, don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. Because some of y'all are so into the world. Don't act like, and I'm not trying to be ugly, but y'all know it's the truth. All y'all care about is money, honey, and funny. Don't play with me. I mean, y'all will go against God for that. Y'all, y'all will kill for that. Y'all will steal for that. Y'all will lie for that. Oh, y'all will get mad at a friend or family for that money. And that's the problem, God says. He says in 2021, the people are going to hit us so hard. I don't know what they're coming with. If God tells me, I will tell you. But it's going to be worse than COVID. He say, I told y'all, I see, I see something like, um, thank you, Lord. Remember I told y'all the other day, it, it's like, in the rain, it was a chemical. Thank you, Lord. It's something to do with chemical. Where the people had burns and, and and it was just crazy. So when he tell me the rest of it, if he do, I'll tell you. But remember what the word for 2021 is. Get closer to me like never before. He said, you must depend on heaven 
more than earth. There it is right there. Let me repeat that. Somebody put that in the comments. For the word for 2021, 20, you're going to have to depend on heaven more than earth. That's more than that job, more than your family, more than anybody. We got to get disconnected because I'm telling you what's happening. We're getting the world has came into the church and has told the church how to live, how to think. We used to be holy. Oh, come on, somebody. We used to have standards. Oh, come on, somebody. We used to love each other, kind of, because it was always some gossipers. You know, you got you got your little groups. You got your gossipers. You got your cliques. You got your tricks. Y'all you, you, you. know I'm raw. Don't play with me. And God say, it's coming. He say they don't understand. They're not discerning the signs of the times. And to be honest with you, this is how we think as a whole. The more a person has, the more blessed. The devil is a lie. Let me write that and, and, and let me do, the, do this thing. Blessings come. Let me, let me read two scriptures. Blessings come in seasons. I used to think that too because that's what we were taught. Oh, we're going to always be blessed. That's not real. And now I understand. Y'all, I promise y'all, please share this because this is some good information. I never understood this because, and I'm going to be honest with you, you know when you have a lot of money, you want to spend, 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 spend. Y'all, please take heed what I'm getting ready to say, especially what's getting ready to come. That's why some people say, they call them tight or whatever. Now I understand because this is what God told me. I bless you in seasons. So when, you're not going to always have an up season. You're not, I'm sorry. He says, so when that season is up, save, put aside, quit letting people use you, quit misusing it, only buy what you need, stop buying everything you want. Um, y'all better listen to me because it's about to get topsy-turvy, these people are doing some stuff. Y'all know that, right? Then he says, so when you, when you have an off season and I'm not blessing you, I'm testing you, I just said something. He said, you won't be stressing. You won't be concocting stuff. You won't be lying. You won't be cheating. You won't be trying to manipulate, trying to figure out how I'm going to pay my bills. What I'm going to do. What I'm going to do. Who I'm going to sleep with. Ooh. Because when you need, there's a greed. Somebody said that. Oh, Y'all ain't playing with me this morning. No. When there's a need, there's also that spirit of greed that'll do anything. Why do you think people are killing people and doing all kind of other stuff? Don't want to be obedient. So let's get back to it. Be mindful of the seasons you're in, God says. So let me read this two, these two scriptures. Praise God, praise God. And share this rumor word, please. Okay, so. Ecclesiastics 3. 3 to, three to 8. Well, chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. For everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up which is planted. Come on, somebody. Y'all wonder why things happen. God got better for you. And we're not talking about just a job, a husband. It could be anything. Come on, somebody. Let me continue. He says a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. So you got to listen to this. And, and I pray that y'all go back and read in your Bible. This stuff is real. You know, you and you God told me something. Y'all don't see me on here. Y'all remember, I don't know if y'all been following me, but back in the day I used to be on here every day. Y'all want to know what God told me? He said, those that be on it, and I'm just being real, I'm not trying to hate, they're not spending time with me. He said, How can you really deliver my pure word if you're not spending that time with me? And that's a required time. You can't just, I'm gonna take an hour, I'm gonna get on Facebook. It's time for people to start spending time with God. So therefore, you can understand the instructions. Because remember, the blessing is in the instructions. Come on, somebody. Oh, let me continue. He says, there's a time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. That's so real. Seasons change, God told me to tell you. What season are you in? And don't curse your storm. Don't curse your season. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I'm going to be very transparent because that's what y'all need. When this first happened, I really didn't know what was going on. Because I said, okay, God, there is no way that you're going to make me buy everything for a cafe. And I give me a cafe. 
this up. So I really thought, I said, did I miss it? He said, I wouldn't allow the creditors to extend the credit if I wasn't with you. He says, it's just not there. Mm, somebody catch me. So when God shifts the plan, we have to be obedient to listen because then we'll get mad. We'll get in our emotions. We'll say things. We'll do things. That's why y'all saw me pull back. I didn't want to get in my emotions and I didn't want to start tripping. I sat at the feet of God, still sitting at the feet. Okay, God, you're shifting. Let me be strong in the shift. Let me be wise in the shift. Let me do not get in my emotions. I forgive everybody. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. You have to walk in a, a level of spiritual maturity because guess what? This is also your test. Or oh, you think God was just shifting. You know he's testing you. Come on, somebody. Can you go to the next level? Because guess what? If you think this is something, can you handle where I'm getting ready to take you? Because if you can't handle this, honey, how you going to handle that? Come on, somebody write that in the comments. If you can't handle what you're going through, this, how you going to handle that what you prayed for? Oh, come on, somebody. Because I don't know if y'all understand what I prayed for. Hallelujah. All right. Let me read another scripture. Ezekiel 34, 26 says, And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will call shower to come down in, it. in this season. There should be showers of blessings. That's how I know that God blesses you in seasons. I'm going to read it again. Ezekiel 34, 26. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in his season. Praise God. There will be showers of blessings. So God says, you got to know how to move in the storms. You got to know how to move in the seasons. Okay, I wrote some things down. Hold on. Praise God, praise God. The first thing God says, you must learn how to outlast your season. You know how we go through them seasons? Come on, somebody. You might have a good season where you're on Facebook. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. I mean, you, you smiling. And then you have those seasons where things are a little off atop your turkey. And everybody knows because you be like cussing, fussing. I, I was I was so bewildered this morning. This person, I never know the curse. They were just cursing on Facebook. I said, okay. So I'm shifted in there like, God wants to see how strong you really are. Oh, well, let me continue with this. And he, God says, life is seasonal. Seasons change. So whatever you're going through, it ain't going to last. So what you tripping for? Oh, Lord, don't mind me. God will bless you in seasons. So stop thinking you're supposed to be blessed every day. Your blessing is when you wake up. Your blessing is when your family is okay. Your blessing is when your children are, are not on drugs. Your blessing is when your marriage is okay. They all come on, somebody. Y'all looking for blessings, God say. Remember the ones that are around you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God says, with every blessing, there's a battle. The level of the battle indicates the level of the blessing. Uh, I had somebody say, Pastor, you go through a lot. Because you don't know I'm you don't know that I'm supposed to go to the nations worldwide. Oh, you don't know what I see. I'm going there this morning. I've always seen I was a millionaire. I remember in Sacramento, California. Pastor Philip Godot came to me, said, you're supposed to be a millionaire. Now I'm going to go even transparent. You know what God told me two days ago, because this is going to help some of you. He said, Deanna, you've been was supposed to be a millionaire. He said, but, and, and he picked up two, two situations. So I'm, I'm telling it all because y'all, somebody need to hear that. He said, remember when you was in Sacramento and you got 300 something thousand? He said, what did you do? He said, you practically almost gave it away to people I didn't tell you to. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. I know you ain't. Then he said, last year, you got blessed. What happened? And I sat back and I said, God, you're right. I'm just issuing out, trying to bless who I want to bless. I mean, I did what he said, but I said, okay, I get it. In order to have that type of money, you have to do exactly what he said. That means if he said, keep it in that bank, you keep it in that bank. Even if somebody come to you, I got to pray on it. Sometimes we don't pray about everything because people catch us off guard. Hey, I need fifteen hundred dollars for my um to save my house. Okay, sure, I got you. I need fifteen hundred dollars for um my car. I don't want to lose my car. The average person that has a good heart or godly heart, you don't just give that away. You're supposed to pray about everybody you help because there are sometimes that God is trying to teach them a lesson. I just helped half y'all, so I repented. I said, Lord, you're right, because I'm gonna give it y'all. 
let me tell you, I've always been a giver. Well, no, no, that's not true. When I was young, I was a taker. But anywho, I said, okay, I get it. Yeah, I'm teaching, so I'm teaching, I'm teaching. All right, let me continue. So you got to understand, because somebody asked me, Apostle, why you go through so much? Because I'm ordained to be that much. I'm, I'm client. Y'all ain't ready for me. And I see it. Oh, come on, somebody. When God has ordained you to be who he has called you to be, the level of the anointing will detect the level of the warfare. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me this morning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. I wrote down some things for y'all. Storm forces change. See, when you go through storms, you have to stop and, and, and be like, hold on, hold on. What happened? Oh, it, it's, it, it, it'll, it'll make you everything around you because now you got to figure out. And can I tell you something? And, and a lot of you know this. When you're in a storm, you at your sharpest. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I, I don't know why. And, and I never liked it. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But I got to be real with y'all this morning. I'm at my best when they come at me. I don't know why. And I'm not trying to be arrogant and all that because that's a lie. That's not who I am. But there's something about when I go and start, I get sharper in the mind. Y'all don't notice I start creating more. Oh, all you got to do is watch me. Start, God start giving me witty, more witty ideas. And, and I, can't even, I can't even explain to you. Everything could become so sharper. And I'm like, why can't this just be like this all the time? So your mind is at its sharpest. When so say you at your weakest, because that's when you're relying just on God. God, I need you. God, keep me. God, don't let me fall. God, don't let me say something dumb. God, don't let me act dumb. Oh, y'all understand what I'm saying this morning or somebody do. Let me continue. Storm reduces you back to God. You see, if you was tripping, oh, I'm just going to give you an example. You know those people that get blessed? I mean, they get everything they want. They have the job, everything they want, right? Let something happen. Like a diagnosis or the doc they go to the doctor and the doctor says stop smoking or something like that are you gonna die oh honey you'll come back to god real quick huh you ain't been to church in months but let that diagnosis come which i rebuke in the name of jesus because i don't know about sound speaking i don't know nobody you'll be in the first the first pew the first Sunday, to my hallelujah and you ain't been to church in seven months so god know how to send a storm because god be like you know just paraphrasing him and jesus I bless them. They, they ain't been to church. They ain't read their Bible. They, 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 would, they do it. Let me send a storm. It'll bring you back home. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And then it'll make you remember what's really important and who's really important. You ever notice people that are prideful? They got everything, right? Let them lose it. Before they won't even speak to you. Come on, somebody. Y'all know it's true. I, I mean, they're, let them lose everything. Hello. How you doing? And you be looking crazy because like you ain't never spoken. Storm reduces pride. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all should be writing this down. Storm exposes the real you, what you really made of. I can't lie to y'all. After spending, and I'm not trying to gloat or nothing. I'm just telling you because y'all said I told the story anyway. After spending 23000 but not only that, spending time. You know how many people I had to pay to help build plexiglass stuff, to do this, to do that, to do all kind of stuff. Let me tell y'all, it hit me to the core of my spirit. But I tell you, it also exposed I'm stronger than I thought. I can't say I didn't cry. I didn't. I can't say things didn't happen. I, I, I can't say I didn't think things. Y'all know. But God help me. And I say, oh, Lord, I'm getting stronger. And I appreciate it. I hallelujah to his name. I feel the power of God. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So I need y'all to understand that when that storm come, don't get upset. Don't get mad. Understand that God has your back. Understand that God understands that you need a time to adjust. Because guess what? When seasons change, you don't know how to dress. When seasons change, you don't know what to do. That's why you sit at the feet of God and say, God, God. God, 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 keep me. Hallelujah. So I pray in the name of Jesus that y'all stay strong. Stay strong. Because I don't know about you. I'm not letting the devil steal from me. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. God bless you. God keep you. Share, share, share. Y'all know what time it is. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. We're all our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.